Still Live with Lucy Hawkins. Here in the UK, women who experience bleeding in early pregnancy and have had at least one miscarriage before should be treated with the hormone progesterone. And that's the new guidance from the British Health Watchdog, following research which suggests the treatment could prevent over 8,000 miscarriages in the UK every year. I'm joined now by Professor Ari Kumrasamy from the University of Birmingham, who is behind the study, and also Faye Smith, who took part in the progesterone trial after having three miscarriages. Uh, Faye, the pain of talking about miscarriage is so hard, and we should talk about it more, of course. But I wanted to start by asking you about the happy ending to the story. You have a little girl, I understand. Yes, yes, Layla is five now. Just and gone really quickly. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Gosh, that time always flies <laughs> when they're small. Uh, and you must treasure her, I'm sure, every day when you think about what you went through. How was it for yes. you when you had the losses of your three babies? So I had a, a really smooth pregnancy with my son, who is now nine, and um, then had three losses after um, I had my son. Um, and it, it, was, it was really hard. It's um, it's the, the the kind of physical pain and what you go through physically, but also the the long term impact um, of that as well in terms of your your mental health um, too. It has a you know a big impact on you. Um, talking about it helps, but but I think I didn't do that at first, and I think a lot of people don't um, because you feel that you should just get on with it sometimes, and you know you don't feel. Um, like you should reach out for help because it, it happens to lots of people and you know you should just get on with it so um it, it was really hard it was really hard professor kumara samari a face story of course will resonate with many many women and families around the world miscarriage not talked about enough but your research could fundamentally change people's lives but can you explain to us why progesterone works sure so the hormone progesterone we've known it's an important hormone to support pregnancy. As the name progesterone would suggest, pro meaning for, just meaning pregnancy, it's a hormone that is essential for pregnancy. So we've known that. Now the question that we've been trying to address is whether supplementing women who are at risk of a miscarriage in the first trimester with the hormone progesterone, whether that would reduce the risk of miscarriage and increase the chance uh, of a live birth. And what we know is that progesterone is important to uh, maintain the lining of the uterus, what we call the endometrium, and it is the endometrium where the embryo implants and grows. So it's really important that the endometrium uh, is in good shape. And what the research has shown, and this is a large trial uh, in the UK, we had more than 40 hospitals participating in, uh, in, this, uh, in this study. And we had more than 4,000 patients uh, taking part in this, in this trial. And this trial found that if you were to give progesterone to women who are at high risk of miscarriage, and by that we mean women who've had a miscarriage previously like Faye and who are currently bleeding uh, in the first trimester, then it reduces the risk of miscarriage and increases the chance of live birth. So um, if a woman has had one previous miscarriage and she is bleeding in the current pregnancy, there is an increase of about 5% um, uh, chance uh, in, in live birth. But if she had larger number of previous miscarriages, then her risk of miscarriage is greater and the benefit uh, from progesterone is also greater. So the, the increase in live birth chances are about 15%. And this is, um, you know, is, is tremendous finding. Uh, for the first time, we can actually give a treatment to women who are bleeding in the first trimester with the intention of reducing the risk of miscarriage. And we haven't had a treatment like this before. So this is um, considered a, a great breakthrough uh, for, uh, for women like Faye who go through the heartache of miscarriage. Faye, we just saw a couple that were, Tulip Mazinda, our correspondent, spoke to. And she's having a scan. And she said that when she was taking the progesterone, it gave her a sense of hope, something to sort of cling on to that was positive when she was doing that, because she was so scared, of course, of losing this pregnancy too. Is that how you felt? Yes, definitely. Um, the previous three pregnancies, obviously, you know, there hadn't been anything that we 
um, had been able to, able to take. Once I'd had three, I was then able to be referred um, for tests and, and they all came back fine, which is, is good in that you don't want there to be anything wrong with you, but equally it doesn't give you any answers. So being able to be part of the trial was, um, it was just brilliant because you felt like um, the there was a chance of the, you know, the being a different out outcome that you were doing something different. Um, and whilst you still put the protective barriers up because you don't want to go so far as to think that it's all going to be okay because you experienced the hurt before, there was hope that time because we were part of the trial and, you know, you felt that Fa well, Faye, thank we're you doing something different. Yeah, doing something positive, I'm sure. Faye, thank you for sharing your story and Professor Krimrasamri as well. And it is hoped, of course, that this is a available and cheap treatment that will be available globally at some point too. Good to have you.